guys rc episode 69 football manager 19 we continue on our saga with barnet fc so after the 2-1 millwall win in episode one for this season we beat bradford city by a nice 3-1 margin aaron wilson scored newcomer nick richardson with a brace come here you so <laughs> I'm going to be paying a little bit of attention to the cats today because they, they've had a traumatic uh, day so far. Uh, we actually thought they were leaving today to go up for adoption. Uh, all they did was at the, at the shelter was uh, redo their checkups. They had lost their paperwork, so they've updated their paperwork. So they're officially on the books for adoption now. We'll still bring them out to the adoption events on weekends, it looks like. So we'll see, but you know, we we thought that they were gone this morning. So you know, last night was pretty emotional because we've had them for about seven months now. So this is one of the ones that was leaving. Out of the five, we're going to keep two. Uh, so you'll see them around on occasion. The other three we thought were gone, and that's one of them. Uh, and that's you know, he was next in line to keep if we could keep another one, but we can't. Anyway, moving on, three to one. Nick Richardson with a brace. Uh, Mansfield, we got a clean sheet, 4 nothing. Steven Dua scored, Aaron Wilson scored. We picked up an own goal, and then MJ Williams scored, and then was sent off with a straight red card minutes later. He has been very temperamental. Uh, he's been sent off twice in three matches. Uh, right there in the first match with the double yellow. Missed two matches and then, or missed a match and then came back and was sent off immediately there as well. Sheffield United, uh, EFL first cup. We lost four to two on penalties. It had a two two draw at regulation and lost uh, four to two in penalties. Uh, Nathan Mariah Welsh, another newcomer, scored in the 82nd minute. We were down two nil and then Tom Clayton picked up a 93rd minute goal to send it to penalties. And then Yeveltown, we had a nil-nil draw. So, yeah, outside of the EFL First Cup, we are unbeaten. So taking a look, we are atop the table, which is surprising. We're only four games in, right? But plus seven goal differential. That 4 nothing win really helped. So we're back today for Plymouth and MK Dons. So let's get to it. Uh, let's see. We are underdogs. The the Gensters? Nice. It's a cool shirt. I like the kit. I really like that kit, actually. <laughs> uh, so we are heavy underdogs in the rain. I think I'm going to go with this one and then drop back into a defensive mid. I can live with that. Clayton, center, defensive center, Simmons, mid. All right, I really don't. Wow. I only have one striker. I don't need three on the bench, do I? Uh, mid, right, left. I think let's go with, um, how many matches have these guys played? Simmons, one and one. Richardson, three and two. Simmons is our guy. So let's go with Simmons. Richardson. Richardson has two goals in three. Simmons has none in one. But still, I want to... Uh... No, that is not what I wanted to do. Crap buckets. <laughs> I hit the wrong guy. Um, where is he at? Jordan Stevens is out. Courtney Sr., that's who I want in. That's a mid, right, and left. Another defensive, a defensive mid. Mid, right, left, and striker. Yep, I can live with that. 
All right, let's get to it. Connor McElhaney, like him too. Would that be incredible if we could get promoted three years in a row? I mean, it's way too early to be thinking about that, but we are off to a good start. So last episode we had in the match that we had, we had the extended kickoff highlight that actually turned out to be something, not so much in this game. Slater hoops it up. All right, Awaniwi. Ooh, he was looking a little tentative there. Hoskins plays it out to Bolter. Bulter. Dua. God, how many times do we hit the guys? Poor, poor ball through. Poor ball. All right, there's a good interception by Bailey. Drops it back to Hamblin, up to Pete. Heavy touch. McElhaney, oh, nice through ball. Awaniwi, header, it's in there. Aaron Wilson, goal number four. Awaniwi with the cross. That was a nice ball. We will take that. Praise him. All right, Awaniwi, short inbound pass to Dion Pereira. Crossed in. Dua, number two on the season. Set piece goal. And we are looking dangerous. Looking dangerous. I'm guessing some of our guys might have the ability at this level. I was a little concerned. A little concerned. Hello. I need to... Uh... Hello. Okay, there we go. I had the... My micro the microphone registry was not registering, and I thought my audio was dead. Oh, all right, five to one on shots, sixty five thirty five possession. Hamblin picks up a yellow, his third of the season. All right, we'll encourage them. Ooh, they're frustrated. All right, a couple of yellow cards. All right, they're 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 liking to play. Oh, a little a little lump. Adam Pete, he's on the score sheet for the first time. Dion Pereira, nice cross in. Adam Pete, one of our midfielders. I think he's a midfielder. Yeah, I don't remember. Oh, right across the face of the goal. That goalkeeper just had to shit himself pretty bad, right? Uh, Pete, yeah, midfield. See, I knew I was right. I had it. I had it on lockdown. All right, let's see. Let's go to the dressing room. Excellent efforts. Watch your step. Watch your step. Um, let's go ahead and start the second half, and let's come down to balanced just to kind of take some of the uh, the attacking pace off, and maybe that'll save our legs just a little bit. All right. Well, they got a well. They're getting a few more shots, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, we're we're playing basically the same, just just balanced instead of attacking, right? So. Shouldn't hurt us too much. And we can always dial it up if we give up a goal here. Hey, buddy. Crossed in. Header. Oh, two saves. Cleared. Oh, my God. Little dink, dink. <laughs> Little double tap attack on the goal. Oh, oh, McElhaney. I thought you had that one. Oh. Uh-oh, Brown gets past the defender, lumps it forward to Lancaster. Oh, what a save by Hoskins. All right, I am going to pull, let's go ahead and pull Hamblin off uh, for Tom Clayton. McElhaney can be a striker. I'm going to go ahead and move him up top. 
and then mid center actually I don't have a mid center do I I do not can I play yes I can All right Courtney senior and then we're gonna move him with Dua Dua can play mid no, he's a mid. Oh, he's a mid right. He can play a number ten, so he's he's comfortable in that center role. Yeah. All right. Well, maybe not the best move. All right. Let's praise him again. Fired up. All right. Um, Aya Kaviti. Jordan Thompson. All right, Awaniwi plays it short again. Senior. Bailey. Oh, lumped out of the box. Lancaster with space and a runner. Oh, dangerous. Oh, he went too fast. Hoskins. Yes. That should be enough to get the clean sheet, I think. Four minutes. Eh. All right. Are you going to play it short again? Yes, you are. I do not have set pieces set up. Oh, nice save by Thorn, the flying Thorn. All right, that should be the whistle. Just blow it, blow it. Three nothing. Get it in there, boys. We will take that. That helps our goal differential for sure. Excellent efforts few yellow cards and we'll play MK Don's next quality of possession Pereira two assist four key passes I'm gonna tell him his passing was good Barnett maintain unbeaten record at five all right well I'll see you guys back here in just a second for our next game all right, we're back for our next match. Steven Duell was injured from a tight hamstring in training. I think he'll still be able to go. Uh, looks like we've got a lot of guys coming back. Tristan Cover, James Jordan. Uh, Ian Joyce, not quite ready to come back. So, should be almost at 100% now. Uh, we did lose one of our under-18 players. He's out for about six to eight months, broke it a leg or something like that. We're favorites in this one. We are on the road. Good weather. So I think what we're going to do is go here. Hamblin, Pete in the central. Dua will rest him. Hoskins. What's up with him? A bruised ankle. All right. Well, that's not the end of the world, right? I mean, he's not horrible. We're hit, we're favored in this one. Yeah, we'll go with that. Warm it up, boys. Prove a point today. All right, we are in blue. God, I like those blue kits a lot better than uh, the yellow ones. <laughs> Bailey into the box. Crossed in. Headed off target. Ugh. All right, let's see. We're going to push forward. They're composed. Ooh, disinterested. Oh, my God. Keeper just flubbed it. God, dog it. That was a cheap-ass goal. I mean, literally, literally should have had that. Sucks. Don Pereira pulled thigh. Let's see how bad it is. 81%. All right, Hamblin finds Bailey. Crossed in. Headed. Wilson with number five. 
That's a nice goal with a great assist by Billy. Billy! Billy! All right, we are looking good. 82%. I'll definitely pull him off. He'll be one of the subs that we make today. All right, there's Bennett's up to Pete. Lumped forward. Mariah Welch intercepts it. Wilson. Uh, nice through ball to Bennett's. Yes. Aaron Wilson with a nice assist. Bennett's places it home. Two to one. Puts us back up. Trying to keep an eye on Pereira here. 80%. He'll make it to halftime. He's hampered by the injury. We'll make him a halftime substitution. I don't usually like to do that, but uh, let's see. Tactics. Pereira. Mid. Left. Uh, Mosiah Welch. Can he play both sides? He can. So we'll slide you over. And then we'll bring Dua on for you. Then we'll go to the pep talk. Prove a point. There we go. All right, so I got to remember we've already blown an early sub. 11 to 6 on shots, 10% advantage in possession. No, oh, they're still doing that. Oh, look out. Oh, he should have turned and put that one home. Sam Cook makes the run. Okay. Well, the slide tackle made him stop at least, right? I guess. Oh, a nice little inside ball. Whew, off target. I, I Honestly, I have no, no conviction that my keeper now can save anything. <laughs> Which means... I think I'm going to go Bailey, Dua, takes a touch, puts it across the face of the goal. That was nice. Dua off the bench, third goal of the season. Bailey with another assist. That was nice. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pop another sub here. Um, Bennett's is playing number 10. Let's bring Nick Richardson's in there. There we go. I want to kind of keep that third sub. If they make a late run, I can maybe bring in my other keeper. Just in case. Okay, I think we're good now. All right, Adam Pete. You know what? Awaniwi probably needs a rest. He is my left defender. Okay, so Bailey can switch sides. And then... Bailey can come off. Actually, did I screw that up? Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. No. No. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted Awaniwi to come off. Defensive right. Okay, so he'll just come off for Thompson. I was getting I was getting too fancy in my moves there, man. Mosiah Welch into the box. Oh, nice cheeky cross in. Sulcon McGeorge out to Manning. Head, head, head. Richardson on the run, plays it forward. Wilson makes the run. All right, he drops it back, crosses it. Oh, that was close. Another shot. We keep hitting people. Oh, white tackles. Newell on the counter. He's got a man up the middle. He's got runners in the middle. Shot. Oh, there's Philip White. Three to two. Damn it. And I already made that sub, didn't I? Shit. <laughs> I 
Should have held on. Should have held on. Tighten up. Oh. Oh, my God. I thought that was in. I saw him flailing at it. <laughs> Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Oh, good interception. There we are. Whew. That was a nail biter. Nail biter. Woo. 89th minute. Made it last. All right. Excellent effort. Everybody played okay. Oof, oof, oof. That was a nail biter. I was under pressure. All right, Pereira's out eight to ten days. Probably left him in too long. One goal, one assist, four headers. Yep, superb in front of the goal. All right, so let's finish the day so we can see where we are at. All right, Stevens is back to full training. All right, we are three points up. Awesome. Five or six goals up. We're five points up in the playoff chase. I, th oh, I think we're sitting pretty right now. Still have yet to have a loss. G Gillingham's going to be there all the way, right? Three draws, three wins, though. So who do we play next? Well, we wow, when do we play Gillingham? Not until the end of November. Damn. That's a long way off, huh? Well, I'm going to try maybe to get let's go ahead and come back for Cheltenham. Currently third. Yeah, I don't need to play Plymouth. Maybe I'll skip that one and well, if we're gonna if we're gonna do that, we just soon come back for South End, maybe. How about we do that? Let's come back for South End and Cheltenham. We'll see you for that. And that'll give us a handful of matches. One, two, three, five league and our first EFL trophy group match with Northampton, and then we'll play Plymouth later on as well. All right, well, hey, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you watching. Tom, thanks as always for the vote for uh, for this one to continue. So we'll keep going with this one, and we'll shelve the uh, Director of Football Challenge save. I'll keep that on the back burner. Um, I may or may not play it. We'll see. Just That's going to be a time-permitting thing. So it's always kind of sitting there that we could pick it back up at a little bit later date if we needed to and I could do kind of like a recap to that point and then pick up if we wanted to uh, you know later in later in the year um, while FM19 is still alive and kicking uh, of course as usual we'll go with these saves for FM19 probably till sometime in late September and then kind of go on a little hiatus from the game for a few weeks uh, and then in October is usually the uh, alpha the pre-release of uh, the next football manager which will be FM 20 and then we usually do a, a quick save this year, of course this year I did it with Rangers uh, which if you haven't checked that out go check it out and uh, and then we get into the new save so if we don't come back I think I may do a director of football challenge next year uh, at some point, um, maybe that'll be my, my pre-release save. I don't know. Um, I haven't done a journeyman this year. Probably will not. Uh, this will be my long-term save. And so maybe we have to go back and do a journeyman next year. Uh, we'll see long, long time to figure that out being here that we're in, you know, the first half of April, uh, you know, we've got, seven more months till we have to worry about that so plenty of time I and mean, we're not even halfway through the fm19 cycle so i'm just blabbing and not making any sense because it's so close to the you know too early to even think about it we were away mk don's had twelve thousand people holy crap that's insane 
we brought in 40, about 4,000. We brought in 4,400. That was a cup match. Still, Sheffield United, you'd think we would have brought more. 4,100. So we're bringing about 4,100 in per match. It's keeping us close to a break even, but we can afford to lose money with some of the profit that we are seeing. Uh, do we have any? We don't have any, any loans. No loans. That's good. All right, guys. Well, as always, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. If you're not new and you haven't subscribed, pound that subscribe button. Thank you very much. See you guys next time. Bye.